underneath the southern skies of Georgia we've got daytime baseball from Truist Park today a matchup of a pair of first place teams between the San Francisco Giants and the Atlanta Braves stay now, tuned for Braves baseball starting now 21 Atlanta Braves. Ian Anderson gets the starting assignment for the Braves. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, getting a good look at big right-hander Ian Anderson, former first-round draft pick. This guy has a good, hard breaking ball. One of the things I really like about this guy, he doesn't dance around the strike zone. Has a good fastball, 95 to 97 miles an hour. He'll ride it up in the zone. He'll throw that two-seam sinker down in the zone in a good, hard breaking ball. He's put it all together, and he's a very dependable and reliable starting pitcher who takes the ball every five days. And we are underway from Truist Park as the first pitch of the afternoon misses taken for ball one. First pitch, 120. A ball and a strike to the Giants' leadoff man. And we should see some 90s as we go forward. 88 degrees, our game time temperature. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Fouled off. Smoked on the ground left side and that's a base hit so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Got a nice piece of hitting right there when you're facing a young blood on the mound young starting pitcher you want to get him into the stretch as quick as possible. You want to see how he handles the moment see if maybe you can run on him. A lot of things going to open up with this next at bat. Here's Tommy LaStella now as the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. 261 the average coming into action here. Three homers and 15 RBIs. Good fastball down around the knees there taken for a strike. Time for a look at our umpires in this one behind the plate is Ed Drummond. Yeah, Matty. Hey, you know what, Dero? This Ed Drummond, he's a good umpire. Fair umpire, good ball and strike umpire. Pretty much straight down the road. That's all you look for, Dan. Just be consistent. I don't care if you're given two to three inches off the outside corner, but you can't do it on the inside corner. If you're going to stick to one thing and stay consistent with it, no player will have a gripe with you. Wade on at first. Nobody out. And he struck him out. Big curveball for the strikeout there, and that came after an absolute That's missile good. of a fastball. Even if you recognize the breaking ball out of the pitcher's hand, it's so hard for hitters to sit back long enough after they've seen a really good fastball. Only the best can keep their hands back on those. Into the box, Darren Ruff, as he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. First swings for him in this one with the runner still at first and one gone. Hey. Right down the middle with a changeup, but not what he was looking for, taken for a strike. Hey, he finds himself down 0 2 with the quickness. I know he's a great two strike hitter, but this at bat, he's going to have to find a way to nickel and dime and get this thing back to even. Open to send him packing, pitch on its oh way. My. Down and away, One it's ball. a ball and two strikes. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. 
Runner at first here, one man out. Runner, runner, runner goes for second, fouled away. Here he comes again, one, two, and another foul ball. The next one two pitch and a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there two away. That's back to back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that, that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Here's the first baseman Brandon hey. Bell as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He'll come into this one with an average way down at 235. 18 homers and 38 runs batted in. A one pitch on its way. Hey. Oh and two now as a curveball drops in there for a strike. Well you can see he's coming right at this guy just pounding the ball in the strike zone. He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. He pulls this one into right, and that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. Hey, this guy's been slumping at the plate. Saw his average fall below 240 prior to this at bat. That knock had to feel good. Brandon Crawford digging in next. No balls and a strike to count. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Come set the 0 1. He appears to be having some issues with pitch command to start the game. He's dealing with two guys on, and that last pitch looked like a big mistake in that location. Right down the middle, but he got away with it. Oh, and two. Here it is. Pulled toward right center field. On the move is Peterson. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Giants leave a couple. And now the Braves will get their initial shot here. No score. Anthony DiSclefani is on the mound for the Giants in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, DiSclefani, a big, tall, strapping guy. Not an overpowering guy. 93 to 95 miles an hour. Big sweeping breaking ball in the straight changeup. When he's on, you'll know. For a guy like this, he gets a lot of swings and misses. If he's on, a lot of strikeouts early on in the game. Ozzy Albies is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. Up and the 0 1. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing in two. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders in a row, but this guy's slider is so good, I think he might throw it again. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Throw on to first is in time to get him, so that'll go down as a strikeout and a two to three putout for out number one. The right field. In is Jorge Soler as we run you the numbers to see the splits between July and August. Here's the first pitch to him. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Bases are empty, one man out. Ball and a strike. One and one. 
high and deep down the left field line. And it's a foul ball. Di Sclafani has a reputation as a strike thrower, although that doesn't often result in a ton of strikeouts. A typical start may find him with a low walk total and the ball in play a lot. Matty, he's what they call today one of those pitch to contact kind of guys. He has good stuff, not great stuff. He relies a lot on his defense, and one of the keys, he's not afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. With that said, he Ready needs some through. defense behind it because he's base not going to get a whole lot of Ready. swings and misses. Three man. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. As he'll take a look Outside at a slider that can't make it back to the corner. It's ball one. Trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here. One oh count. Here it is. Fastball at 96 on the radar gun, and it's one and one. Ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away. Hey, this guy is dialed in right now. Two strikeouts and still working ahead. This is going to be a tough test for the offense. Two out, nobody on. Still one and two as he fouls it away. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. And I'm sure that one stings a little bit. The best revenge he can get for his pain is to find a way to come around to score. We'll see if these guys can move him around the bases. Now it'll be Austin Riley. First at bat for him in this one, and he's got that average up over the 300 mark for the year. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his ball, hands. A ball of no strikes. Hey. There's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. Two it's one. two and one. From the stretch. And he can't nope. catch the Outside. corner here, so he's behind three and one. He drilled the previous batter, and now he falls behind three one to this guy. The last thing you can do, though, is throw a fastball middle of the plate right here. Strike two called, and it's full three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Ruff gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. Brave strand one, and this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. Stepping up is Wilmer Flores. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. On a line, that's a base hit. So a good start to the inning for the Giants. Leadoff hitters aboard. Dan, are you kidding me right there? I mean, that had to whistle past this guy's ear. That was a scary moment. Uh, Dero, they call that the old chuck and duck, right? That was really close, and that's one of the things that most pitchers fear, that line drive that zips right by your head. Wow, that was awful close. Mike Yastrzemski digging in at the plate as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. We'll check in with an average still south of 230. 21 homers to go along with 52 RBIs.
A one count. Here's the pitch. Behind 0 and 2 now. Flores gets his lead at first. Nobody out. And he three. takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Next, here is Kirk Casale, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, Attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count. And the pitch. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Runner at first with two gone in the inning. And so the pitcher will bat next. That brings up Anthony DiSclefani. From the stretch. Aye. This pitcher Four looks like one. he has a chance to have a nice little cruise inning. After punching out the seven and eight hole hitters, he's staring the pitcher down. The 0 and 1 delivery. Lifted down the line in left. And foul. Line towards center field. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. Well, you don't see that all the time. Pitcher deep in the count, 0 and 2, and D Rose still manages to sneak out a base hit on an 0 2 count. You know what? He never left, lost his toehold there, Dan. He seemed like he wanted to hit. He was aggressive. He battled and was able to be rewarded with a nice base hit. Lamont Wave Jr. the batter. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. He singled in his first A.B. The 0-1 offering. No score here as we play any number two. But this won't get by the shortstop as he's there to take it in for the third out. Giants leave a couple. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here's Jock Peterson now. He'll look to get something going here in this scoreless ball game. The center fielder, Jock Peterson. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey. Hey, love the pitcher attacking the zone right here. He knows he's got a patient hitter at the plate. Might as well steal that first strike. Count is even at one and one to Peterson. Ready to deal. Here's the one one. And a good swing there as this is deep down the line and right, but this is going to wind up out of play. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout and there's one gone. Always tough for one of these base umpires to make a call on a guy's good. check swing. That's it's not a call. great angle and everything That's happens great. so quickly. So they really have to be paying attention out there. Looking at the replay, I think he got it right. So that's a tip of the cap for the blue.
Here's the first pitch. Dansby Swanson stands in as he looks at a called strike. He'll take that first pitch strike all day long. If they're going to take 0 0, he's going to pound that zone and get ahead. Much more susceptible down 0 1 than 1 0. Now the pitch. Good slider there. Gets a swing and miss. Down the third baseline. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking too right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. To the plate now, Eddie Rosario. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. We'll check in here at 256. Six home runs and 47 RBIs. And this catches the outside corner, strike one. Here comes the 1 1. And he makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. Swanson, the runner at second with one away. Hey. Try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. That's a pretty unique pitch sequence, guys. Usually pitching is all about mixing pitches and location, but he threw that all out the window to get that strikeout. He offered the same pitch three times in a row, so I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Stephen Vogt oh, swings one. and misses there, so he's down 0 1. Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. Behind 0 and 2 now. On 0 2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Two chases out of the zone for strike three, and that's the third out of the inning. One left for Atlanta, who we'll moved to the third with no score. New inning set to get underway, and set Maybe to go is the done. second baseman, the Tommy La Stella. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. High in the air out to center field. Peterson is right there and it's a very quick out number one. The batter. Number 33. Next to hit Darren Ruff. 0 for 1 here in the early going. First delivery to him. Fly ball right down the line and left. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. 
Oh, man, he's been absolutely getting overmatched to plate the last couple of games. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. So clearly this pitching staff, they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. Standing in now, Brandon Belt. Here's a look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. He collected a base hit his first time up. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Ball, that's out. Tried to backdoor him and lock him up with a curveball right there. Pretty good pitch, but he didn't quite get it to come back all the way to the corner. That's tough to do for most guys. Here comes the one two. Out in front of this is Belt as he rips this ball foul down the right field line. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he fouls this one off. Now here's a ball heading for the right field corner. This has the distance and it stays fair. Home run. A solo home run here for Brandon Belt. 19th home run for him on the season as the Giants are stink to a 1-0 lead. Yeah, and if you remember the previous pitch, he couldn't get around on a fastball and was mad at himself. Well, there's nothing to be mad about anymore unless you're the guy standing on the mound wondering what just happened. Shortstop Brandon Crawford. But swing just got to try and straighten that one out. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Here it comes. Loud contact there, but it's well foul. Freeman is up with it and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. One for the Giants. It's Brandon Belt. Bye bye baby. Bottom of the third coming up. It's one nothing San Francisco. We're just about set to go here as the Braves come to bat in the third inning and this is an offense that's really been productive this year. They entered the day leading the league in round trippers and talking with some of their players before the game they said they know home runs are a big part of their game but it's not something they try to focus or rely on. They said as long as they're attacking good pitches to hit and not trying to do too much the rest will take care of itself. Guys. Good stuff Heidi thanks. Bottom of the third now, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Ian Anderson. No pitcher. Ian. And now the first pitch. Four one. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. One one. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. One and two. A swing and a ground ball to third. 
reined in. And there's one down now. The bat, number one, second baseman, Adi Albi. So one gone for the Braves here in the third. And that will bring up Ozzy Albies. First offering on its way. Shocked he didn't oh, let it fly the right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Hit down the third baseline. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0 and 2. One out, nobody on. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. The 0 2 once more. I can't blame him one bit out on the mound. I'm shocked he didn't pick up the rosin bag and see if he could get a foul ball on that one. He had to see if he would swing way outside the zone. And he held up in time, but it's strike three called, and there are two down. You know, I'm not quite sure how that strikeout will be scored, looking or swinging. He tried to check his swing, but I'm pretty sure the home plate umpire was ringing him up regardless. Into the box now, Jorge Soler. And he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Ball, ball one. one strike. One one he is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Two strike. Well, he doubled up on that slider, so that tells me he's really feeling it at this point in the game. Good chance we'll see a heavy dose of that slider as this start continues. Two out, nobody on. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Braves. They're down one nothing. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Thanks, Matt. Between innings, I was able to discuss the current state of the Giants lineup with their manager, Gabe Kapler. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Looking at the numbers, they currently have four hits coming from at-bats where they were behind in the count. That indicates that these guys are absolutely battling at the plate and making it very difficult for the opposition to get them out. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. At the plate now the is Wilmer Flores, singled in his last at bat. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Wind up and the 0 1. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Hit on the ground to third. Scooped up. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. All right now so time for the Braves road to the show report as we see a couple of prospects who are having big time success at the high levels of the minor leagues.
stepping in now. Mike Yastrzemski. This one is launched. Look at this. Gone. Solo shot to right center. Number 22 on the year as the Giants have taken a 2 to nothing lead. Well, there's an old saying that the harder you throw, the farther it goes. How about this? Good fastball, and this ball is absolutely tattooed. See you later. Now that the catcher. Kirk. And now Kurt Casale. That's a look ball. at a changeup that drops below the knees for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Two runs, six hits, and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. One and two is the changeup had him out in front there. Wow, that changeup is an absolute beaut. They call it the great equalizer for a reason. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. Now this one is blasted to left field, and there's no doubt about it. Back to back jacks. A solo shot here to left. Sixth home run on the season for him as the Giants have now taken a 3 nothing lead. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. First offering. And ball, ball one and zero. Oh. Hey, this pitcher's going to have to step off the mound right here and refocus. Take a deep breath, something. Can't keep falling behind and creating traffic. It puts everybody on edge, not only himself, his defense, and especially his manager. There to pull it in is Soler, and there are two away. The white fielder, number 31, Lamont Wade Jr., So next to hit is Lamont Wade. He's one for two in this one. First delivery to him. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee or he was sitting off speed right there. Bases are empty here with two men out. Curveball fooled him there as he's way out in front. You know that nasty changeup's lurking right here. If I'm in the batter's box, I have to tell myself to stay back. I have to take pole side out of the equation, or that changeup's going to beat me. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. center Peterson looks up and it's gone as they add still another
solo shot to right center. Number 18 for him on the campaign. And the Giants have opened up their lead at now four to nothing. Well, sometimes runs come in bunches, and that's definitely the case in this inning. That's three, count them, three home runs in this frame alone, four for the game. Did someone throw a home run derby they didn't tell me about? Sure looks that way. Now batting. The second At the plate, game. Tommy LaStella. As he'll swing and send a chopper out to second. Albies scoops it up, throw in time, and the side is retired. So they get three runs here, all coming via solo home runs. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. San Francisco leads this one four to nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And that brings in Freddie Freeman. If you look at their win percentage or something like that right now, got to be honest, the odds are obviously stacked against them. But I'm looking for them to show me something right here. Maybe they get back in this game. Maybe they don't. But I want to see what kind of at-bats they put together. This is where you have to lock in as a team. Every guy has to go up to the plate and have a good, productive A.B. to get this team going. The wind up and the 0-1 to first. Estella fields it cleanly. And a good throw gets him one gun. <laughs> Not sure the spin throw was necessary there, but it sure looked good. Would have been questionable if he threw it away, but he put it right on the money for the out. To the plate now, Austin Riley. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. At the 2 and 0 now. Two balls, no strike. Three nope. and oh now. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. There's a strike with the fastball as he gets back in the count at three and one. Four seam heater right down the middle. I would have thought he popped a clutch on that pitch. Hey. Now the slider gets the call in the bottom Four part count. of the zone. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. Oh, look out. Hot shot to third, and there are two away. Now batting center fielder, John Peterson. So next to bat will be the left-handed hitting Jock Peterson. And it's fouled away. Struck out in his first at bat. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. There's the classic 0 2 wasted fastball. Not even close to the zone. We'll see what he throws on the next pitch. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for Atlanta. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. Braves are set down 1 2 3. They're down 4 0. Now 
now in the box, Darren Ruff. He's in to get things going here at inning number five. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And a fastball is in there for strike one. All one's the count. Ground ball right into the shift. Fielded cleanly. And the fifth oh. inning will start with a ground out, one away. The first base is number nine, Brandon Bell. Now the Giants' number four batter, Brandon Belt, is off to a fast start in this one, two for two, including a home run. Yeah, he absolutely torched the fastball his last time up. Pretty much a no-doubter, so he's got to be feeling pretty confident right here. And that one yanked just foul. The 0-2 home. This is popped up, and this is going to wind up a foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Slapped hard the opposite way. But quick hands over there at third as he takes it for the second out. Now batting. The shortstop. Brandon Crawford. Up next, Brandon Crawford. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Yeah. And that's in there for strike one. That's lifted the other way out to left. Rosario is there. No problem with this one, and the inning is over. Giants are down one, two, three. They lead it four to nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the Braves' offense with their manager, Brian Snicker, during the commercial break. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll bring forth the slugging shortstop, Dansby Swanson. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. This is in the air to left. Ruff arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. The left fielder, number nine, Eddie Rosario. Now with the plate is Eddie Rosario looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you Whoa, a little longer. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled off. The 1-1 home. 
fouled away. And he fouls this one off. Trying to send him packing for the second time. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. That was a nasty looking slider now that Matt, time. Catcher. Yeah, that was really Amen. well executed, Matt. A classic Whoa. strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. So now to the plate, Stephen Vogt. And hey. he'll take a change up here for strike one. Struck out in his first at bat. Boats in a hole, 0 and 2 to him. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter friendly, it's been a treat to watch. Weak chopper to the left side. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. One strike away from five shutout innings. Now another 0 2. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Braves. They're on the short end of a 4 0 score. Top half of the sixth. about to get started and standing in is the veteran third baseman Wilmer Flores wheels and deals here's the first pitch hey I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well executed fastball down the way and that's exactly what that is he swings at that that's off the end of the bat that's not hard contact at all and that's an easy out for the defense. Lifted in the air out to right. Soler is there. One out. The center fielder, number five, Mike Yastrzemski. Next to hit is Mike Yastrzemski. Last out a solo homer last time up. He turned around that fastball and drove it out of the park in his previous at bat. So there's got to be a good chance they mix it up right here on him and try and go off speed. Here's the first pitch to him. Swung on but fouled off to the left. He was absolutely all over that fastball. Have to find a way to keep that fair. Bouncer up the middle. And that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. Sometimes you just got to tip your hat to the offense right there. Nice piece of hit. Executed his pitch away again, but the hitter was able to stay on time. Into the box, Kurt Casale. As he lifts it in the air to right field. Soler is there. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. The pitcher, number 26, Anthony DiSclafani. Into the box, Anthony DiSclafani. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. First offering on its way. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. 
Dan, it seems like they've had his number all game long. Yeah, Maddie, I mean, the numbers don't lie. They've tagged him for 10 hits, including that last one, and he's having a hard time getting out of any trouble. They might be buying some time to let the relievers get a few more pitches in before they give him the hook. Now at the plate, Lamont Wade. And with two men on here, I'm rather surprised they're sticking with him at this point. I feel like we can all see the exhaustion from all the way up here. Yeah, I think it's time to go get him, Matt. We're seeing a guy that's given all that he has, and I just don't see any sharpness left in his stuff at this point. Well, the bullpen is active, so we'll see if they make the move soon. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Hit hard on the ground towards second, and this is going to get down for extra bases as that'll get one, if not both of them, home. Di Sclafani blows through the stop sign, headed for home. Tag is there, and he's out trying to score from first as the second run. Giants will have to be content with just the one. Nine, one, and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Giants five, and the Braves nothing. Adam Duvall is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. Number 14. Adam. New ball. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Well, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. The 1 0. It is a fastball oh, in off the plate for a ball. Two balls and a strike. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. This is only their second base runner of the game after that earlier hit. Tough to score when you don't have anyone on base, so we'll see if they can get something going here. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Stepping in, Ozzy Albies. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Pitch of the AB on its way. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Albies oh. with a one and one count now. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. That ball and he's through. a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Balls couple strikeouts early in the game but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitters count now the 2 1 pitch at the ball got to find a way to get back in the Great zone ball. I know you're in danger of losing both to walks but certainly don't miss over the heart of the plate and have this guy gap one or even worse hit a two run homer. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, could be something they have to think about. And it's fouled away. Payoff pitch one more time. Swing and a hard hit ball down the line in right. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. I'll tell you, that's one of the first good swings we've seen anybody put on this guy so far. He's been throwing the ball really well, but that was one of the few mistakes we've seen him make.
standing in now. Jorge Soler. Here's a fly ball well hit. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track he makes the catch. And that'll put him on the board as it's now a 5-1 ball game. The first baseman, number five. The next to bat for Freddie. Atlanta, Freddie Freeman. Freeman. The potential second run of the inning stands at third. First pitch of the A.B. now. And he takes a good swing at that one as this is sent down the line in right, but ultimately into the crowd of foul ball. Comes set and the 0 1. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Looking for his 10th strikeout. Here's the pitch. Ball, strike, Some yeah. action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. The 1 2. Swing and a liner. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. To second now, but he's safe. As also on the play, a run comes across the score. Well, the beat goes on with this guy, runner in scoring position. No doubt when he comes up, he's thinking RBI. What does he do? Double the drive and another run. This guy is a money, money run producer. At the plate now, Austin Riley lifted into the air out towards center field. Catch made out there in center field as the runner will tag from second. The relay throw. Nope. And they'll make it up to third on the fly ball as he's in there now with two away. And now here is Jock Peterson. Runner in scoring position with Sir John. He's set and the pitch. There's a strike with the breaking ball. Now that pitch tells me this guy's feeling frisky right now. He's on. He's got everything working. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 2. Freeman on third with two out. Swing and a little tapper. Well, I think after that foul away. This pitcher can go almost anywhere he wants. That pitch was way off the plate and off speed. I'm surprised he even offered it that one. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Seventh inning coming up. Giants on top, five to two. Jackson is on to pitch now from the bullpen three. now to start inning number seven. Number 77. Luke. Jackson. And now Tommy Lestella. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Tommy Lestella. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. Hey, there's not a lot you could do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. High in the air out to center field. Peterson has a read on it. One out. Now batter, number 33. So the next to bat will be Darren Ruff. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Off the plate, ball one.
five two our score as we play inning number seven. That evens it up one and one. Jackson, 28 years old, is a veteran of seven years at the major league level. A one one. Grounder down the line at third. Reined in. On to Got Freeman it. at first, and there are two away now. The first baseman, number nine, Brandon Bell. Brandon Belt stride in one more time as we flash you back to earlier. This was a big blow right here as he leaves the yard with plenty to spare. First offering. Hey, find a way right here. Two outs. This guy has come in throwing bullets. If he can get this team into the dugout right here with another donut and they regroup, start passing the baton a little bit, we got ourselves some action. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0 and 2. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Giants down in order, and it remains 5-2. to two. Tony Watson will take over on the mound to start the bottom of the seventh. Number 56, Tony Watson. Last half of the seventh here, and coming forward now is the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. Now the first pitch. Lay off the fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball 1-0. Two and zero, the count Whoa, to Dansby Swanson. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. All even now, two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Fouled off. Here now, the two two. It swung on and missed. He chased it out of the zone. And the throw Eagle. will indeed take care of him for the first out. Next up, Eddie Rosario. Eddie. 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. First pitch on its way. Yep, that ball went out. Now the one and one pitch. Inside, ball two. Aye. Rising fastball, and it catches the zone for a strike. Great job of doubling up with a fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. One out, nobody on. Two two pitch is fouled away. Now here's the pitch. 
And he squares up on this one. Deep to straightaway right. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. A solo shot down the line in right. Seven home runs for him on the year now. And it's a 5-3 game now. Normally this matchup is the last thing you want to see left on left, but he kept his front shoulder square, stayed in that at bat, and absolutely demolished that baseball. Stepping in now, Stephen Vogt as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Now the 1 0. Sent on the ground out to second. There is La Stella, and that's the second out. Travis Darno will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Pinch hitting for the Braves. Number 16. Travis. Darno. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. The average, not quite where he wants it, down in the 220s. Four home runs and 17 RBIs. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Now here it comes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two seamer, and the inning is over. One for the Braves in the inning, and it comes courtesy of the long ball. We're through seven this afternoon. It's the Giants five and the Braves three. Jesse Chavez is going to come on in relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance of the season. Jesse Chavez. Begin the eighth and stepping in the slick fielding shortstop Brandon Crawford. He's set. Here it comes. Oh, one pitch on its way. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Peterson is there and he makes the catch for the out. Up next to the guy, the third base, Digging in next, Wilmer Flores flew out last time up. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And there is some stick to it of this as they still manage to get the out at first. What a play. So stepping in is Mike Yastrzemski. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Took a little off and it's in for a called strike one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it.
hard ground ball. Defense played him perfectly. Albies brings it in. For the first with time to spare, and the side is retired. Giants are down one, two, three, as they hang on to their 5-3 lead. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Harleen Garcia will come on now, and he'll slide into the seventh spot in the lineup following the double switch. Austin Slater is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher spot hitting ninth now on the double switch. Bottom of inning number eight set to go and that'll bring up the exciting Ozzie Albies. Albies. Ready to deliver here comes the first pitch. Well, that's a nasty breaking ball right there. Backdoor slider just missed the corner. As they say, that's a Hall of Fame pitch. And 2 0 oh, as this one's taken low. 2 0. Oh. I don't mind him trying to pitch him backwards right there with those two early count sliders, but now he finds himself in a situation where he's going to have to come fastball. Hitters count. Here's the 2 0 oh pitch. Cold strike on the change. 2 and 1. Gutsy pitch right there. 2 0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. No. Nope. Fastball just missed above the zone. Yeah, well, down two. You better believe they gladly take a leadoff walk right here. Anything to get a base runner on and get that tied run to the plate. The three and one pitch. Aye. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. The 3 2 pitch will be a base hit in a center field. And a knock for him this time. He's 2 for 4 for the game. So it's an inning opening base hit, and the Braves have a man on. Even though that pitcher was able to execute in off the plate, batter was able to keep his hands inside that baseball and drive it up the middle. Into the box now, Jorge Soler. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Grounded to short. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. For Gilo, when you're starting to swing it like this team, this doesn't matter. They bring in a new relief pitch, right? And he gets greeted with back to back base hits. Yeah, exactly. That's what you want to do. In today's day and age of bullpen down your throat, you very rarely see back to back knocks when these guys are throwing smoke. That's one of the keys, too. When you come in facing guys out of the bullpen, they're being taught to throw strikes early and they're taking advantage of it. He's throwing strikes and they're jumping all over him. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey. Freddie Freeman is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. A great job pounding his own strike one. When you got a great hitter in the box, got to get ahead. Count leverage is a must. Oh, and one count and the pit. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. Now a long throw home. But not in time as the run scores, and the lead is trimmed to one. That base hit was screaming off the bat, and our show track technology more than confirms it. 111 miles an hour was the exit velocity of that line drive. Stepping in once again is Austin Riley. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. He 
Cubs set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Tried to check it, and it's 0 and 1. Possible tying and go ahead runs on base. Nobody out. And it's 1 and 1. Hey, that backdoor breaking ball just missed. He had a chance to run it to 0 2. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. It's not easy to continue pounding the strike zone when you've given up three consecutive hits, but he has to trust that getting the ball down in the zone will get him an out. The 2 1. Hit in the air out to center field. Slater is under it. One out. Now batting. Center fielder, John Peterson. Striding in is Jock Peterson. The base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. First offering on its way. Inside. A ball and no strikes. There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. The 1 0. Now a ball rolls softly to second. He's got it. And indeed, he'll not even try as he goes to first. And that means two men are in scoring position now with two Seven away. Number seven. Shortstop. Gensby. One Tyler Rogers will slide in now and try to work out of this. Runners at second and third with two gone. Number 71. Tyler Rogers. Dansby Swanson will be his first assignment as he steps in with two men in scoring position now, but also two away. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Lays off 1-0. Belt high strike to even the count at one and one. Hey, that was a big pitch right there. You fall behind 2 0, you give this hitter count leverage. He probably tries to ambush a fastball. 1 1 count, he's got to really think. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Braves will settle for just the one. Sammy. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. And that gets the black on the outside. A good slider that time. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Peterson on the run. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. The center fielder, number 13, Austin Slater. Now to bat, Austin Slater. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. From the stretch. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Soler is there. Makes the play and there are two gone now. 
the right field on the third block. Lamont Wade Jr. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Giants lineup. Stepping forward, Lamont Wade. Three for four so far and seeing it well in this ball game. First offering. Now the 0-1. He's in complete command of his two-seamer right now. It's got great movement, great depth, running all over the place. This offense is going to have a tough time. Now that's popped up, and this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Another 0 2 home. Here's a pop up now. Riley in foul ground. And that ends the inning. So nothing happening this time around. Nothing further in the San Francisco ninth. Last chance coming up for Atlanta. They'll be looking for one. It's a 5 4 ball game. Your Jake McGee please. takes the ball now in now inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 17, Jake McGee. So striding in to start the ninth is Eddie Rosario. And they could use a spark from him here. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And that misses ball one. You know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. Now the 1-0. Laid off for ball two. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind 2 0 doesn't exactly help the situation very much. Now, here's the pitch. And this pitch is inside, and he can't find the zone all of a sudden. 3 0. Down by a run, your guy needs to get on any way he can. His mentality has to be to shrink the strike zone to like the size of a suit can. No reason to swing at a pitcher's pitch. Three balls and a strike to the Braves left fielder. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. This one up. Lastella has a play. And there's oh. one away. Now that the catcher. He's there. Whoa. Now to the plate. Here is Stephen Volt. He bounced out last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Too one. low, one and zero. Oh. All one, no strike. Hey. A ball and a strike. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Wade is there, and folks are starting to head for the exits now. Two gone here in the ninth. Harry Adrianza will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Set and the pitch. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. 
throw to first here is in time to record the final out and the Giants will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over a one run finish today five to four the final score the Giants led this game from the third inning on and never wavered Anthony DiSclafani earns his 12th victory in the ball game as he racked up 10 strikeouts in the effort. Jake McGee wraps it up for the save his 29th of the year. So that'll do it for us for Mark DeRosa Dan Plezak Heidi Watney and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB the show for more make your way over to the new website the show dot com. for this afternoon first for the victorious Giants five runs on 11 hits no errors they left six men on base for Atlanta four runs seven hits no errors they left five men on base time of the ball game three hours and 18 minutes ladies and gentlemen on behalf of the Braves and everyone at Truist Park we'd like to thank you for attending and remind you to please drive home safely. Thank you.